Hello, hello, friends. Good morning. How's everybody doing today? Hello, who's on? Let me know. Hi, Alex. Who else is there? Hello, Calvin and Colby. Yes, the sun is out. It looks like a beautiful day out there. Much, uh, much better than the last few days. I guess yesterday was kind of nice out, wasn't it? Um, still a little windy though, at least where I am. So, okay, well, it looks like we got some friends joining. So make sure you tell me who's here and I'll give you a shout out for hello. Hi, Rachel. There we go. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hello to everybody. Hello. to uh, sound like I don't have faith in you guys, but I doubt anyone guessed what today's theme is. Um, today's theme is hard. Tomorrow's theme is hard too. Um, today we are going to be doing sensory music. Um, so we're going to focus on what music makes us feel like um, in our bodies and the different things that we can do. So we're gonna start off with one of my very, very, very favorite songs ever of all time um, called Move to the Beat. Now this is a great one because I feel like it really can help you wake up your body. So if we're patting on our laps or stomping our feet or reaching up high, um, we're feeling what we're doing with our body. And we're gonna do a few extra ones today um, to really uh, focus on how music makes us feel and what we can do with it. So here we go. So everybody start by patting that lap. Move to the beat. Yeah, we move to the beat. We move to the beat. Uh-huh, we move to the beat. 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 But now get ready to stop. 
Okay, now we're gonna stomp our feet. Stomp our feet to the beat. 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 But now get ready to stop. Ready, now we're gonna reach up high. Ready, I want you to stretch all the way to the sky. Reach up high to the beat. 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 Ooh, ooh, stretch. Reach up high to the beat. Reach up high to the beat. Reach up high to the beat. But now get ready to stop. Ready, I want you to wiggle those shoulders around. Wiggle your shoulders to the beat. 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 But now get ready to stop. Okay, now we're gonna wiggle our fingers. Wiggle your fingers to the beat. 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 But now get ready to stop. Okay, friends. Now we're going to do another finger one. And this one, I want you to squeeze your fingers like this. One at a time, all the way down to your nail on every single one. Ready? Squeeze your fingers to the beat. 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 Ready? Now we're going to do it again. Do the other hand. Squeeze your fingers to the beat. 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 But now get ready to stop. And we'll talk about why we're doing all this stuff after. You guys will love to know. Okay, now we're gonna brush our legs and I'm gonna pick up the camera so you guys can see. So we'll just brush like that. Brush your legs to the beat. 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 But now get ready to stop. Okay, and now we're gonna squeeze our arms and I want you to squeeze with the palm of your hand all the way from your wrist up to your shoulder. Squeeze your arm to the beat. Squeeze your arm to the beat. Squeeze your arm to the beat. Other side, squeeze your arm to the beat. 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 But now get ready to stop. Okay, now we're going to squeeze our whole fist like this. So we're going to squeeze and then we'll stretch. So we'll squeeze our fist to the beat. 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 Take a deep breath 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 to the beat. But now get ready to stop. All done. 
Okay, friends. So the reason why I do that song, um, there's a lot of reasons. But when you focus on one body part and do different movements like we just did, you're bringing your brain's uh, attention to that spot of your body. Um, so you're thinking about what are my feet doing and how are they feeling right now? And what are my legs doing? And all those things. Um, so the reason that we do each finger independently is because um, our brain actually maps it when we are uh, squeezing our body parts and, and moving like that. So if we squeeze your whole hand um, like this or like this, in your brain it actually maps it like a mitten. So you know how a mitten we got a thumb and then we got all of our fingers. So then our brain, it's easier for our brain to move all of our fingers together than it is separately. So if you're going to be doing like a fine motor task, um, if you're going to be um, doing like writing or uh, any like pinching or anything like that, then it's it can be a really good like hand warm up to just squeeze each finger independently so it gets your child ready for doing that kind of task. Um, same thing uh, with a lot of like our arm squeezes and stuff that just brings attention and awareness. Um, and if you feel like your kiddo is getting overwhelmed throughout the day, I love vision breaks because we get so much information through our eyeballs. Um, and I, I'll, I'll actually sing um, my little eye squeeze song, but you can actually do this for anything. You can do it for arm squeezes, for finger squeezes. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze again. And now we'll do it with our fingers just so you can all hear it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze again. Um, I'll post a video of me singing that and then you can um, sing it and squeeze any body parts. You can do feet. You can do hands, toes, heads. You can do like your scalp. Um, I even like to do back pats. So I will, you know, do it on a child where I'll just, you know, pat their back gently um, up and down. And those are all good like sensory things um, to do with kiddos, especially in these kinds of times. Um, so I'm going to actually, I'll post a, like a work, not really a worksheet, but just like some tips some sensory tips from Miss Keisha, um, things that I've found to be really effective um, and really work well. Um, I'm disclaimer: I'm not an OT <laughs> at all. I wish I was. I love, I love being a music therapist. If I could be a music therapist and an OT at the same time, I could die and go to heaven right now. Um, but I have worked with a lot of OTs, and these are strategies that I've learned from them. Um, so yeah. Now we're going to do some humming. I want us to think about what our mouths are doing now. So if you can all go, hmm. Oh my goodness, did that tickle? It tickled me. I could feel it right here and in my nose and also in my chest and my throat. So see if you can feel. So when you go, hmm. I want you to put your hands on your mouth. Ready? Hmm. Did you feel that? That's your own voice making all those vibrations. Mm. And then you can do the same thing here. Mm. Mm. So for this song, you don't have to hum the whole time, but you can do other sounds and make and experiment with how they sound when you do them. Can you do ha 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 ha? Does that feel different? Ha 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 ha. Or maybe you want to go, Woo! whoa, that feels totally different. So you can make any sounds you want. And I want you to use your hands and feel how they feel. What does your cheek feel like? What does your nose feel like when you're doing all of those sounds? So feel all the vibrations that your body can make. Here we go, friends. Hum a tune, hum a tune with you. Are you ready to hum with me? And if you have a 
kazoo around, uh, you can slap that right in your mouth and that will really tickle your lips. I wish I had a kazoo because I'd do it with you. vibrations in your teeth? I know I could. Hum a tune, hum a tune, hum a tune with me. Easy as can be. Hum a tune, hum a tune, hum a tune with you. Are you ready to play with me? Ready? Can you sing it back to me? Try that with me. Buzz. That made my tongue feel so funny. Ready? Here we go. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Zzz, 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 zzz. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz, buzz. I don't know if I can do it anymore. My tongue is so tickly. Okay. Now let's see if we can do like, like what sound does a mosquito make? Like a, can you guys do something like that? That tickles the back of my tongue this time. Uh, hum a tune, hum a tune, hum a tune with me. Do, 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 easy as can be. Hum a tune, hum a tune, hum a tune with you. Are you ready to play the with me? Are you?
Okay, friends. Oh my goodness. How funny did that feel? Our mouths can do all kinds of amazing things. I'm like itchy after that. <laughs> Does anybody else feel a little itchy? Um, yeah, I'm even feeling itchy in my ear. Whew. So many sounds, you guys. Okay. Well, I want us to do a quick um, relaxation. Um, there's a bee buzzing one, but there's another one that I was thinking of. Oh, where is it? Actually, there's two that I want to do. Forgot. Boop, boop, boo. Mm -mm. Oh, here it is. Oh, let me flip it so you guys can read it if you want. So, we have got hot soup. Hot soup. So, I want everybody to imagine that you're holding a hot cup of soup. It's much too hot to eat right now. So, I want you to breathe in and say, it's It's hot. Ready, let's do it again. Breathe in and say, it's hot. Put one hand on your belly and see if you can feel your belly muscles working as you say it. Ready? We'll say, breathe in and it's hot. Can you do that again? It's, see if you can push it. Hot. Now put your soup down. Take a long breath in. And let it all the way out. That was some hot soup. Okay. And now we'll do one of my faves. So we're going to use our bodies for this one. So I'm going to show you what it looks like, but then I'm actually just going to read it to you and we'll do it together. So imagine that you're holding a ball in your hand. So you got a ball in your hand and it is your favorite color. You got this tiny little ball in your hand. It's your favorite color. Is it blue? Is it purple? Is it orange or red? Imagine that little ball of your favorite color is inside your body. Maybe it's right here where your heart is, or in your belly, or maybe it's in your brain. Now, I want you to just take a little breath and make your ball get a little bit bigger. Ready? Ooh. Ooh. So every time I do this, I want you to breathe in. Ready? Ooh, ooh. Now every time we breathe in, we're gonna make it a little bit bigger until this ball takes over our whole body. Ready? Ooh, 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 ooh. Ready? Now it's gonna get so big. Let's do it again. Woo! Take a deep breath. <gasps> Let's see if you can do it one more time. Woo! Woo! Now that ball is totally, totally small again. And you have managed to make that color take over your whole body. And that's so fun. Okay, friends. Well, it is time for us to say goodbye. So I am going to post um, the squeeze song that I did. Um, do you guys want to hear it one more time? Let's do it one more time. So you can squeeze your eyes. You can even do a hearing break. And you can put your hands over your ears while you do it. 
or squeeze with your palm or squeeze your fingers. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze again. So I will post um, those strategies that I was talking about. Um, you know, squeezing your fingers individually before fine motor tasks. Um, those kinds of things that I was talking about. Um, and like I said, not an OT, but I've worked with a lot of OTs and they've taught me a lot of stuff. Um, so let's say goodbye, friends. I hope you found this helpful. Um, I feel like our sensory needs are often um, quite overlooked. Um, and there's a lot of things that we can do to help kiddos um, to make sure that they have what they need. Um, and these are some strategies that I found helpful. Oh, make sure you drop your name in the comments too so I can say goodbye to you. Goodbye everybody, yes indeed oh. Bridget, that you're able to use these. That's so awesome. Goodbye to Rachel. Goodbye to Calvin and Colby. Goodbye to Ellie and Winston. Goodbye to Cam and Alex and Cooper. Is there anybody else there? Oh, Stanzi. Gotta say goodbye to Stanzi. Goodbye to Stanzi. Bye, everyone. Um, awesome. Thank you, guys. You guys were so quiet with your comments today. So I was like, is this even like, you know, something you guys want to know? Um, but, you know, I think in times like this, when, especially because we're spending so much time with um, all of our kiddos at home. Um, we need some strategies, so I'm happy to help. Okay, friends, I will see you all, uh, well, I will see you all at three when Miss Marissa does her afternoon shake-up. I will definitely be there in the comments. Um, and then we've got another Groove and Grow tomorrow at 10 with Miss Marissa. And um, then s musical bedtime stories tomorrow. Um, so that's the awesome. It's going to be exciting. So, and then sing along on Friday. So make sure you put your song requests in. Okay, friends, have a beautiful, beautiful day. I'll see you guys later. Bye.